Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to crochet this beautiful 3D Valentine's Day scarf. It's very easy to make and here is the list of materials you're going to need to make it. To do this um, Valentine's Day 3D scarf, this is the yarn I'm going to use, is from Loops and Thread Aurora, 85 grams or 247 meters. 43% acrylic, 32% polyester, 15 nylon, and 10% metallic. The color is red and it's medium 4, and I'm going to use 3 of these balls of yarn. I already used 1, and you will see that it's not that long, so that's why I'm going to use the 3 of them. And it's only 85 grams each. So the crochet hook is 6 millimeter. I'm going to show you what I've done so far. And this is what I've done from the here here so that's why I want to use the three of them and it's a really beautiful um, stitch and the color is amazing you see a 3d and with this stitch you can do a scarf you can do sweater you can do uh, a baby blanket it will look amazing in a baby blanket and the stitch is multiple of four so for mine I did 32 chains so you can do uh, as many chain as you like for yours so let's start showing you how to do this beautiful stitch in order for you to see the stitch I'm gonna work with this uh, loops and thread impeccable purple that way it will be easier for you because maybe if I do it with this yarn in this color maybe you don't can see really well what I'm doing so for this one I cast on 32 chains and a measure 23 centimeter or 9 inches so what I'm gonna do is a slip knot and since this is just to show you the stitch I'm gonna do only 16 chains so you will do the amount of chain that you need for yours and remember the stitch is multiple of four so I'll meet you here when I have my 16 chains once you chains. have the amount of chain that you need for the width of your scarf you're gonna chain four one, two, three, four. You're gonna yarn over and you're gonna count one, two, three, and then number four, you're gonna do three double crochet. So for mine that I did 32 uh, stitches, I did in total 36 because I had to come back four. So that is one. two and three and with the chain three that I start with there I have four so you're gonna chain three one two and three yarn over and you're gonna count one two three and in number four you're gonna do again four double crochet one two and four chain three one two and three yarn over and you're gonna count one two three and then number four again you're gonna do four double crochet and like this is how you're gonna be working in all that chain that you did. Chain three, yarn over, one, two, three, and then number four, you're going to do again four double crochet. One, two, Chain three, one, two, and three. And when you get to the last one, you will count one, two, three, and then number four, you're gonna do just one double crochet. So you're gonna be doing this every four chain, a group of four double crochet with a separation of three chain. And they will be a little wavy like this, but that is normal, okay? So here you're gonna chain three. 
turn your work around and we're going to start row number two. Now for row number two, you're going to yarn over and you're going to go here. You have your first group of four double crochet. You're going to count one, two, three, and in number four, you're going to pass your hook. And in that post, sideways like that, you're going to do four double crochet. You see, it's straight like that. You don't want to do anything here in this corner, just like that. Let me show you one more time. So these are the chain three that you did to turn your work around. You turn your work around, yarn over, and you count one, two, three, and double crochet number four here in the group of four. You're going to do sideways like that for double crochet. You're gonna chain three, one, two, and three. You're gonna go again to the next group of four, yarn over, and then number four again. You're gonna do four double crochet. Chain three again. You're gonna go to the next group of four, you see, and then the last one here, like this sideways. You're gonna do four double crochet, and you're gonna continue doing that in every single group that you have of four. Chain three, and now you, when you get to the last one, you'll have your group of four like this. So you're gonna go in between the third and the fourth, in that space there, and you're gonna do a double crochet. And like that, you finish that row, and it will be like this. Okay. So I start here with four and now I have three. For now on you always work in three all the way to the end if you only cast on 16. For me that I did 32 I had eight groups in the first row and after the second row there were a group of seven so I worked those seven straight up. I only work on seven group okay a seven group of four so you're gonna chain three Turn your work around and we're going to start working on row number three. Now for row number three, again, after you chain your three, yarn over and you're going to count one, two, three, and then number four, you're going to do your four double crochet. We are repeating exactly the same as we did in the row before. One, two, and three. Yarn over. You have one, two, three, and then number four here. You're gonna do four double crochet. One, two, three. Yarn over. Again. One, two, three, and a number four. You're gonna do four double crochet. One, two, and three. You're gonna continue working like that till you go to the to the end where you have yes 
the end is like this and if you open it up it's like that you're gonna do your double crochet in here in that space here okay you're gonna do a double crochet and it will be like that you're gonna chain three turn your work around again you're gonna repeat exactly what you did in the row before one two three and then number four you're gonna do your four double crochet and they're gonna create these ends like this okay one two three yarn over you're gonna go to the next one two three and then number four and you're gonna continue doing this until the end of the ro this row and it'll be looking like this one two and three yarn over and again you're gonna count one two three and a number four you're gonna do your four double crochet chain three and I go to work in the end again all the ends will be work exactly the same as we did in this one for now one is exactly the same you will have this like this at the end and in this space here you're gonna do your double crochet you see and this one here you chain one two and three turn your work around and again you're gonna count one two three and then number four you do your four double crochet there's not a lot of science for this stitch it's very easy once you get it it's easy and you don't need to look at the video again you see and at the end the ends will be like this so here, and this end, you see this is what you are creating, the tip like that, and then this one is in the other side, okay. Like that. Let me show you one more time, one, two, and three, one, two, three, you see you have my four double crochet there, and this one, number four. I do my four double crochet sideways. Chain three, and I'm gonna do the next one. And if you look my work, I'm only working in three groups of four in this one. chain three and again I'm gonna repeat this here I'm gonna show you you open it here you have that double crochet a chain of three and a chain of three so between that double crochet and the first set of chain of three you're gonna do a double crochet see here in this corner here. and it's always the same in both and in this side or this one is exactly mm -hmm. the same and you see the 3d here you can see it better than the other one okay and you see I only have three group of three and when I don't pull it it's like this and then if I open it it's like that it's a really really nice stitch so 
I'm gonna continue working on mine. I'm gonna attach my yarn there and I'm gonna show you a couple of rows on this one. And what you see is it's exactly the same. I already attached my two yarns together and now we're going to continue. I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three, yarn over, and again here I'm um, at the end, and it's exactly the same as I showed you before with the other color yarn. And here is where I'm going to do my double crochet. Let's see. Chain three, turn my work around, and yarn over, and I'm gonna come here to number four, and I'm gonna do my four double crochet. One, two, and three, and again, you see, one, two, three, and then number four, I'm going to do my four double crochet. So I'm going to continue working until I have my desired length. So here, you'll see that it's it's a little bit wider in here, but it's because it's open. In here, I have the same amount of stitch, but the chain three, it go to place, you see, if I open it, it open like that, but when I don't, it's set nice in there, okay? So that will be the same in here. If I push it like this, it will close up, okay? That's why it look wider here than here. But it's exactly the same, it's nice and straight. And here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven group. And if I count here, well, I did that row there. So that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven group. You see, it's exactly the same, nice and straight. And in the beginning of the end, you will finish exactly the same, okay? Like that, in both ends. And so far, this measure. And that was with one ball of yarn, because these two here is the one that I done with my new. And measure 55 centimeters. So I'm going to be working with mine until I have like 140 centimeters long, or I use my two ball of yarn that I have left. If you want this one, a circular scarf, you will use all your yarn. But if you want to open with fringes at the end, and the beginning of the end and two ends you will leave some of the yarn and then cut your fringes and put some fringes in both ends if you don't want a circular scarf so I'm going to continue mine off camera and I'll show you how we're going to finish this part here that way it's not wide up like that here I have done the length that I want for mine and I measure 153 centimeters I still have more yarn but this is enough otherwise it will be too long and if you like your scarf with fringes, so you will create them with the leftover yarn that you will have. So here, you finish that row with the double crochet and it will be open up like that. So you want to finish this, that at the end here don't stretch and open up like this. So you're going to chain three. Just like when you're going to start a new row, I'm going to turn your work around. And you're going to go to number four again. One, two, three. The double crochet number four, and you're going to do a single crochet just right there. 
you're gonna chain three one two three you're gonna go here to number four and you're gonna do a single crochet again one two three to number four and do a single crochet and like that you're creating the stitch exactly the same and it's closed like that you see that don't stretch and open up so you're going to continue doing a chain of three and a single crochet until you get to the end if you like this with the fringes and then you'll cut the fringes put fringes in the two ends and if you want to uh, do a circular scarf like I will do mine you leave a tail and then with that and the tapestry needle you will sew the ends together here I am at the end I did my last chain three and instead to do a double crochet here I'm gonna do a single crochet I'm gonna chain one cut the yarn and with that tail I'm gonna sew the two ends together look like this and if you like you can do your fringes now if you look at your piece you'll see that some one side will have the little tip and the other one is the other way around so now you will bring the tip and this side out okay that way they're even and the same size you see by doing that you are creating the same not exactly the same but almost exactly the same in this side and this one in the right side so you will do that all the way and then either sew the ends together or create the fringes now with the tapestry needle you're going to sew the two ends together make sure it's not twisted and don't pull your yarn too tight you want to sew this in a zigzag nice and loose because you don't want this to be um, too obvious that you sew this here so I'll do this off camera and I'll show you the end result but this is what I have left of my three ball of 85 grams each this little bit so to put it on you will put well, you hardly see the seam here where I saw it you will put this part in the top of your head and then you will do a figure eight in the front and you put it on again top of your head and it will look like this and it's amazing uh, the the texture the the stitch is incredible and it's really really nice and soft so I put it on in my model and I'll show you the end result. well here is the end result and I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you make this beautiful scarf and you want to send me some picture you can do it on my Facebook page Ruby Statement, or you can find me in my Instagram Ruby Statement Crochet I wish you have a beautiful day bye